Hi everyone, in this chapter we will talk about collections. Collections is one of the most important concepts in all programming languages and in especially Java. A collection is a structured group of object instances. If you don't have a structured group of objects, you should throw all the object instances into, for instance, a bucket. And if you are searching for an exact item, you have no way to find that item. You need to check one by one all of these items. But if you have a structured group of objects, you may organize all of your object instances for quick access and for quick search. For instance, in this data structure, we have grouped all of the object instances according to their colors. Yellow ones here, red ones here, and blue ones here. So if you are searching for a yellow item, you may find it inside this bundle. And you put all of the similar instances sequentially, one by one. So you may access any item here. For instance with their indexes so this is the third item this is the fourth item like this and here we have grouped the objects like this and we put the latest item onto the topmost of uh, this bundle so you may access the latest item you put into this bundle this is another way of arranging groups for object instances and here we grouped the object instances one by one and they are all related to each other so if you are searching an item inside this bundle you will return back to the first item where you start searching from okay so this is another way of grouping the objects and another way of grouping the objects is labeling these objects with an index for instance here 70 68 and so on and when you are searching for 68 you may directly go into this object and get the content of this object so this is another way of grouping the objects so before deciding how to group these objects inside a collection you need to answer these collections where to put the latest object can i get the first object how to access an item randomly or uh, iterating one by one or just dropping your hands into a bucket and search for an item these are all options and are items related to each other so if I say get the next item can I access the next item here there is no next item concept or here there may be next item concept and here there is no next item concept because this is a data grid for instance there is a next item concept the next item of this is this item for instance and are duplicate items allowed in some cases uh, duplicate items should be prevented so they are all the questions we should answer before selecting a collection so these are the most common data structures inside java and they are answering these questions with different answers that's why we have different types of collections for instance the question is where to put the latest object list says anywhere where you want map says according to the hash code and stack says you may put the latest object at last at topmost the question is can i get the first object list says yes you can get it by index zero map says no i don't keep uh, the putting order of these object instances and they are all say no and the question is how to access an item the list says randomly you can get an item by index and map says by hash code set says by hash code and stack says no you cannot access an item randomly you should get all the items one by one For instance, this is a stack. To be able to access this item, you should get all the items before it. Okay, so you should get all the items to access this item. The question is how to search for an exact item. List says by iterating from the start to the end, 
but map and set says you can access by hash code a quicker way of accessing an exact item and stack again says by iterating over all items the question is are items related to each other list says yes you can access next or previous item but the others say no you cannot access they are unrelated the question is are duplicate items a lot list says yes map says yes stack says yes but only set says no you cannot put duplicate items inside a set collection that's why JDK has several collection interfaces. The first one is collection and the second is map. And collection is separated into two groups, set and list. And map has an implementation, a sorted map. Java supplies several types of collection. As I said before, list, is, list stores all the items as a sequence and may contain duplicate elements and order is important and when you are trying to access an exact item you may access it randomly but when you are searching for an exact item you need to iterate from the start to the end okay and the other collections are set and map we will talk about them all of the collection interfaces derived from the collection interface and it has add contains remove is empty size to array and iterator methods inside it and we will learn all of them in the next chapters the first collection we will learn is list in the next chapter we will talk about list interface see you then